sure you want to get into this. I'm here. So it's, it's kind of hard to start this conversation about this movie, The Barber, without asking a question about life, imitating art, imitating life. So we have this Robert Durst situation, yeah. which might be about a man who's gotten away with something very terrible for a very, very long time. Yeah. Uh, you've been around for a while, both uh, as an artist uh, and in life. Mm -hmm. Which is, what the hell is going on? Is life imitating art or is art imitating life, man? I don't, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, my sense is that both of those two things happen. Mm. Art, it draws it, all of its inspiration from life. And then, unfortunately, I think uh, it can also influence life and, 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 you know, and what happens. I know that uh, doing research on this film, that the, one of these guys uh, that I was looking into uh, spent a lot of time watching um, procedural cop shows on television so he could figure out what not to do when he was committing his crimes. Every time another girl went missing, he'd get another call and just go into this frenzy. That's a, that's, a, that's a very interesting sort of notion. I mean, in some ways, that is what an actor does. You were re doing research to understand yeah. uh, the psychology of this, yeah. this, this, this psychotic is yep. doing your research. You've played everything from cowboys to astronauts to FBI agents. When, when you're doing that sort of research, what is it that you're trying to get into you that you can communicate? I imagine it has to be, I don't think you've ever played a, played a sociopath before, have you, mm -mm. in that long history? No. It has to be something different for, for a character like this. Yeah, you, I mean, uh, my sense is that all of us have, all of us have, uh, Martin Luther King in us, and all of us have Adolf Hitler in us. All of us. And this guy would say things like, I took another one, Tom. Told her not to panic. If she stays calm, you'll have at least two hours. They're human beings. It's just, in most of us, uh, in most of us, those parts of our personalities are latent. You know, so the trick of acting is to find those places, those dark places in yourself, and for a brief period of time, turn up the volume on them, so they become dominant. Um, that's so that's part of what the part of what the, the the job is. What do you want from me? I, just, I know there's more. Like there's something else. There's something that I can't. Come up with on my own. Um, um, where the colors you're painting with are not just black and white, but purple and yellow and polka dot, and 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 that's one of the real joys of playing a character like this, as evil as as potentially evil as he is, and and as as I am, and in, in, in you know, in doing this thing. Who saw you come in? What? No, nobody. Grace, the manager. Nobody fucking saw me. Never use that kind of language. I don't want to hear it out of your mouth. Can you take care of this? You mean like get rid of the body? Can you get it squared away? Yes, sir. I, th I think the other, the other, at least for me, is. Um, is trying to play every scene as honestly as possible, so that if you see the, uh, a scene in the movie where where I'm where I'm admitting that I've been telling lies, and all that I really am is a lonely old man who wants company for a while. Uh, even if that character is lying through his teeth in that scene, when I play that scene, that's the truth of that character. Show me you can be a white noise. You do that, and I'll tell you how I got Debbie Ann to eat out of my hand. She's off it too. Yeah, empathy is, is, is an interesting thing in the context of this, this, these genre films. It used to be that in genre films of this sort, empathy almost wholly accrued to the victims. 
right. uh, and and we were wholly unempathetic for the you know. Uh, right. So, but that's changed a little bit. You know, Dexter and, and, and other things like that. Talk a little bit about the placement of empathy. I think that the the thing about this film is that the, the what I loved about the 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 script right away is that it keeps changing gears on the audience. And as you get towards the end of the film, you keep changing gears more and more and more and more and more. And that the film plays around with sort of four really basic relationships that anyone from any culture, any country, any age can understand, which is father-son, uh, mentor-student, needer needed hunter hunted and this film takes those cards and keeps reshuffling them so there's almost not no such thing as too much empathy because you know two scenes later we're going to pull the carpet out from under you and you're going to find out i thought i was in solid ground i'm back in quicksand he says you lost another one tom you never could figure out how to put your ear to the ground and really listen. <laughs> there can be no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. 